Hi and welcome. My name is Rafael Taubinger and I'm going to show you how to get started with the NXP IMX8 Quad Evaluation Kit and the IR Embedded Workbench for ARM. So I have here in my hand uh, the NXP uh, IMX 8M Quad Evaluation Kit that uh, provides a platform for rapid evaluation uh, of the IMX Quad and IMX uh, Dual uh, Application Processors. So, of course, uh, utilizing uh, up to four ARM Cortex-A53 and uh, also one Cortex-M4. Uh, so it brings high performance and low uh, power, uh, flexible options of memory and high speed interfaces as well as the industry leading audio and video capabilities. So uh, this board um, actually uh, enables uh, an HDMI uh, output uh, for a simple uh, out of the box uh, bring up. Uh, presents uh, DDR4, EMMC, uh, Quad Spy, and uh, SD uh, micro memory options. Of course, uh, 1001 giga Ethernet port, USB 3.0, PCI interface, high speed interfaces, and uh, of course, for audio and video uh, evaluation, it brings an HDMI uh, Type A and uh, also. As well, 32 bit audio samples um, are uh, allowed up to 768 uh, kilohertz. So, um, in this uh, short uh, video, uh, you will uh, actually get a chance to learn how to set up and configure the IR embedded workbench for ARM and uh, the NXP IMX8 Quart uh, Evaluation uh, Kit uh, based applications. And we will go over the startup, memory mapping. Uh, enabling cache uh, and of course tune uh, the speed uh, for uh, optimizations on uh, your bare metal uh, application. Uh, finally, uh, I will also demonstrate uh, the extensive uh, debugging uh, capabilities of uh, the iJet uh, debug probe that also supports now 64-bit uh, uh, and all uh, possible uh, analysis uh, that uh, we uh, can do. So let's move to the demo. As you can see, I have now the IR Embedded Workbench open here. And in order to get started uh, with IR Embedded Workbench and the uh, IMX8 uh, Quad Evaluation Kit, first step is to create a new project. And there are some templates that you can use uh, to create a new project with main or even uh, a C++ main. Uh, very easy, you just uh, follow the wizard here and you'll get uh, some uh, ready project for you. Uh, to make it easier, uh, I have here this uh, project with my main file and uh, in the IDE, uh, first step is always to select the right device that you are using. So we are using uh, Cortex-A53 from NXP, the IMX8 uh, quad and uh, the device is already selected. By selecting the device, the IDE will already select automatically a linker file and also uh, a debugger uh, device description file to make it easier to work together. So I have the right device selected here and uh, I also want to run my application here uh, completely in 64-bit uh, uh, mode, even the data uh, model. So this is uh, what uh, I have here now ready and um, that's uh, enough. Um, later once I have a bit more code written, I can run static analysis and runtime analysis over it. Uh, so, for example, Misra, uh, 30C, um, you can, of course, improve code quality. If you want to trigger some bound, out of bounds, or even uh, stack issues, that can also be very useful with runtime checking. Uh, for now, um, we will leave the optimization in a low uh, mode, but you could even increase uh, the optimization if you want to get some more performance. And as I mentioned, we can have um, a default linker file uh, that uh, you uh, can have. Um, but since in this case, I want to run uh, the application on the OC uh, RAM, uh, I will show you where this is uh, defined or how it's actually uh, set in the right way. And finally, on the debugger, uh, I have uh, the iJet uh, connected through the MIPI-10 to the evaluation kit to evaluate the IMX-8 uh, quad. So that's mainly what I need to do. Uh, on the iJet, we are using the default JTAG interface. 
and um, if there are any other configurations you want to change you could even uh, manipulate uh, some of the probe configuration here so this is uh, from the settings uh, one final um, information is that um, you of course also need to define the program entry and by default it's IR program start and uh, you can always customize that but I uh, just wanted to mention it so you can see how that all comes together so uh, first step if we have a look here uh, on the link of file that I just uh, mentioned it appears here uh, under the uh, project also so uh, I have here the different regions uh, for memory uh, defined it here and um, of course we can define uh, where the section reset uh, is placed uh, and so on uh, if we have uh, other information like the vectors uh, where we have there some offsets this is all uh, defined here uh, in the link of file so you have full uh, control and before of going into the main uh, application uh, of course uh, we can have some code that runs on different uh, cores here uh, we want to load uh, the balance here so we have uh, the best performance on the full application we can of course also enable cache uh, some routines to initialize that uh, can be provided uh, by IAR on that and um, from here as you can see you ca can write your code do some prints that will be redirected to the terminal IO but if you look first on the startup uh, we mainly uh, need to do some initial um, in, let's say uh, startup uh, code here uh, you can always use uh, the example from IR but from the entry point um, until uh, the cache or uh, you want to disable MMU and so on uh, that can all uh, be done here before you land uh, on main or some um, low-level initialization routines to initialize data uh, and so on uh, but also very important uh, exceptions uh, how you handle them especially uh, some error exceptions or uh, interrupts uh, you can um, of course uh, define the routines and then do the handling in a proper uh, way and finally uh, the MMU uh, what you can do is of course uh, define some registers and then uh, do the initialization uh, this uh, example is of course also available in the ID so you can use it as a good uh, reference and from here I have my main uh, application and uh, I did uh, the configuration of the target I have now a write linker file. Uh, I have some uh, components that I'm initializing, uh, like the MMU or uh, even um, uh, the cache, for example. And very easy from here, uh, can just uh, build uh, my project, uh, make sure that it's up to date, no errors, no warnings. And from here, I can connect to the target. It will use uh, the SysPy debugger uh, and talk to the iJet probe from IR that uh, supports 64-bit uh, and again you will enter into the debug mode you can um, of course see uh, the C level code or uh, assemb disassembly mode if you just step in you can uh, see the instructions on the right side here the 64-bit instructions uh, there is a watch window also available and you can of course do some performance measurements uh, that are available on the hardware but if I leave this application running, it will mainly uh, print some hello world and uh, start uh, running on a loop. Uh, it's um, of course every time it passes uh, this um, for loop, it will print and increment it. If I break it here, you will see that uh, we have some information being displayed on the variables. Uh, this counter, if I run it and stop it again, you can all all that being displayed here. But to give you full control. Uh, you can open the register window, uh, you can uh, see inside the memory, for example, if you want to see some specific registers, you can just explore that um, and access any of the registers that are available. If you want to look into memory, that's also very easy. Uh, all the memory that is uh, addressable here can uh, be uh, displayed very easy and uh, breakpoints can of course be set at any point when the application is uh, running or not here so as you can see very straightforward uh, you have the hardware you create your project you set the device do some initial um, uh, startup initialization and that's all you need to get started with IR Embedded Workbench and IMX8 Quad Evaluation Kit
And uh, as you can see, uh, it is straightforward to work uh, on an IMX uh, 8M Quad or uh, maybe IMX uh, 8M Dual application with IR uh, embedded uh, workbench for ARM. Uh, you can of course guarantee uh, code quality, have full control of your application and finally also take advantage uh, of all the advanced debugging capabilities. With IR embedded workbench uh, for ARM version 9.10, uh, you can have uh, the IMX 8M processors uh, actually supported in the IDE if you have the right license. So please uh, talk to your local uh, sales uh, contact or maybe have a direct contact with uh, the FIEs. So they will, uh, of course, be happy to help you with all uh, this information. So don't forget, finally, uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, make sure that you don't miss our next videos. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this short video.